as a YouTuber, I have been struggling to give time to my audience and engage with them because you can see I have tons and tons of different comments and I've been creating videos almost every day. So I'm mostly working on content and cannot engage with all the audience right over here. But for that, I created an amazing AI powered workflow and how I can generate these comments into more engaging videos. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can use Claude Desktop, some Epify actors as well as Perplexity to build up this workflow which can help you scrape all of these comments, analyze these comments and even give you a detail about the audience concerns and the content ideas through these comments. So watch the video till end because I'm going to be showcasing a demo at the end of this video where you can actually see the power of this use case. So let's get started with this video. Hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is Yohoi Shamriz. So we're finally diving into this video. Before setting up our MCP servers, we actually need some prerequisites. One of which is you need to have Claude desktop installed on your computer, whether you're using Windows or Mac OS. Because without this, you cannot access the MCP functionality on the browser platform, as well as you're gonna need Node.js installed on your machine. So if you already have that installed, no worries. But if you don't have it installed, I will leave this download link in the description. So you can go ahead and download Node.js for yourself. And once it is downloaded, how you're gonna confirm whether you have Node or not. So you're just gonna go ahead and say Node, and then you can just say hyphen v this will show the node version that you're running or you can even go ahead and do npx hyphen v to check the npx version once you have confirmed that you have node installed we can move forward to the next steps so once you open up your cloud desktop it will look something like this all you have to do is just go to the main menu over here and then enable the developer options. Once you enable the developer options, you will see this option right over here. Over here, you can go to file and then go to settings. And here in the developers tab, what you need to do is edit the config. Now, once you click on edit config, it should take you to the file location where you have this JSON config file. All you have to do is just open this up inside any of your preferred editor. I'm going to use my VS code right over here. Let's zoom in a bit. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, it's gonna be empty just like mine over here, but don't worry about it. We're gonna populate this file with the MCP servers that we need. And to get your favorite MCP servers, all you have to do is go to Appify store and signing up with Appify is really easy. Although most of these actors or servers are paid or either on trial. So just keep that in mind that this has a certain cost to it. So let's go ahead with the scraper, which is going to be YouTube. And I'm just gonna go ahead and search for YouTube. And it's going to give me all the scrapers for YouTube. So we're going to choose the scraper that we want because in our use case, we want to actually scrape the YouTube comments and then use Claude to formulate those comments into content ideas. So for this use case, I'm going to use this sector right over here. And as you can see, it's going to cost us two bucks for a thousand comments. And now that we have finalized which actor we're going to use, let's go to this link where they have a complete guide on how you can set up MCP servers. So I'm going to paste in the link in the description. So don't worry about that we need to scroll down all the way to this title right over here, MCV servers at localhost. And as you can see, we have the same prerequisites here, Node.js and Claude, and then the Appify API token. So we have Claude installed, we have Node.js, and we also have the Appify API token. And how are you gonna get this API token? You just have to go back to Appify and all the way down here in the settings section, let me zoom in a bit. You can see that we have account, API and integration and organizations. We can go to the API and integrations right over here and we can copy our personal API token by just clicking right over here. So now we have our API token as well as the Appify actor that we need. We're just going to go back to this guide over here. I'm going to use the second configuration where we can select different actors and multiple actors if we want to. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this, go back to my VS code where we have the config file and replace everything with what we have copied. And here in the actor section, I'm going to remove this and replace this with the actor that we chose right over here. Just copy this, paste that right there. And then we have to paste in the API key that we just copied. I'm going to quickly add my Appify token and save this file. And once you have your API as well as your actor configured in the config file, you can just go ahead and restart Claude. You will see this option right over here. So you can see that I have my actor MCP server ready and working. So three Appify servers 
working over here one is the comment scraper one tool is going to be the get actor details and one is search actors so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep them enabled and start scraping comment sections of my youtube videos but before that i want to add a plus point a plus mcp server right over here that can help you power boost your research game and for that we have to go to the perplexity ai's github page and i will be pasting in the link in the description so you don't need to worry about that so they have a complete guide on how you can add perplexity as an mcp server inside cloud or any other platform so here you have to scroll all the way down to this npx section let me zoom in a bit so here we will not copy all of this but only the perplexity part from right over here to right here just copy that because we already have the main headers inside the already existing cloud config file so i'm just going to go ahead and add that mcp right over here by adding a comma at the end of the previous mcp configuration and then pasting in what we just copied so this way you can add your perplexity mcp server inside cloud although we will need the perplexity api key and for that you will have to go to the perplexity app or the web app and here you will have to go to your account settings and all the way down here in the api keys although you will need some api credits for this and i already have my api credits in this account if you don't have api credits this api will not work let's create a new api key and let's just go ahead and copy this i'm gonna go ahead and paste it right over here save this file and that's it let's close this and once you do that you will see that now we have two different mcp servers one is the appify mcp server and the other one is the perplexity ask so what we can do now is we can go ahead and start scraping our youtube comments i'm going to be using one of our own video and just copy this go back to our cloud desktop and pasting in the link of the youtube video and ask it to scrape the comment section summarize the comments for me and then give me content ideas so there you go i have my prompt right over here let me actually expand this and zoom in a bit let's go ahead and hit enter so now this should actually kickstart my mcp servers and ask these actors to go ahead and scrape the comments as well as ask perplexity to do the research part and analysis so it's going to ask you every time it's going to run an actor i'm going to go ahead and say hello once because that's more on the safe side so there you go we have the results so first it used the epify actor to scrape all the comments it only scraped 50 comments at max because i asked it to be concise and short and then it went on and did the research using perplexity right over here there you go and once it had everything finalized there is the comment analysis summary where you can see user sentiments tool concerns as well as the content ideas from analysis so we can do some copa compliant monetization guide we can do ai tool comparison series like free versus paid features then we can do niche topics for higher engagement so i really like these content ideas and i would be more than happy to work on this and deliver what my audience is concerned about so this is a really really good way and a really powerful way to increase organic traffic for your youtube because you will be engaging with your audience and you will be working on content that they truly need so this is again a powerful use case using claude and these mcps and this is by far the simplest use case that you can have only two mcp servers and if you go to appify you can see i have tons of different actors working for me and you can go to the appify store to search for all the scrapers you want if you want to scrape instagram linkedin tiktok whatever you name it so this was a short demo of how you can add mcp servers to your local host inside cloud and power boost your productivity and generate amazing results but that's it i want to wrap this video up if you found this video insightful hit that like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll be seeing you in our next video till then stay curious and keep exploring